Hey Aries, this is your homegirl horoscope for today. Um, you guys could be having like these supernatural things happening around your house. You could be hearing things and you know for a fact you heard these things, but you just don't know where it came from. You could be seeing things like in your peripheral vision, like some shadows or something like the veil is thin. So you have to be very, very mindful that, you know, things that you may not normally see or witness or feel or intuitively know could be a little stronger at this time. Um, for some of you guys, you know of someone that may be in, innocent about a situation, but they may be incarcerated for something or they're being if they're not physically in a jail or incarcerated they are like in some type of prison a mental prison or something has happened to someone and they are like they're the victim but i want to say that they they are the victim in a situation that they had no control over um, so please send out your prayers and things like that to this person. Um, yeah, I, I could be a little kid too. Cause I'm getting like, like a bully. Like somebody could be bullying your child or picking on your child or something. Because it's like someone is, you know, unable to defend themselves in some way, shape, or form. And this could be you too, Aries. Um, you may be feeling like you're unable to defend yourself in some way, shape, or form. Um, I have to stop saying um. There's a need for you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that are around you at this time. Like spirit is trying to like forewarn you of something. Spirit is trying to like, because if you're the person that is feeling like you're unable to defend yourself in some way, it's like lowering your energetic field to where you're not being able to connect with your ancestors and spirit guides like you usually could. And there's like a need for you, like they, they've been trying to like get your attention in other ways. Like usually they will get your attention in this way. But now, because your energetic field is like being tampered with or um, like you just have a low, you're, you know, you're going through some things maybe and you may have like a lower frequency. And because of that, you're not in tune like you really need to be in tune. And it's like spirit is like sending spirit animals, songs, movies, all types of stuff like anything that can get your attention because it's like you're not paying attention because you're so focused on something else um there's also a need for you to get your confidence back so for some of you guys you may have taken a hit with your confidence in some way shape or form excuse me and it could be i don't know why i'm yawning so maybe you guys could be tired overworked drained and you haven't been, you know, keeping up with like your appearance, keeping up with like your workout regimen. You probably gained a little weight, lost a little weight because you're a little stressed. Whatever the case may be, there's a need for you to build your confidence back up. For others of you, you're finally seeing things crystal clear. Like everything is black and white. Like it is what it is. You're in that energy. It's like, okay, this is it. It is what it is. And I have to act accordingly now. For some of you, now that you know and you see everything crystal clear, you are on your journey to healing, okay? You may have already been on your journey of healing, but there's like, there's always something to heal, okay? So maybe you even have been triggered in some way, shape, or form. And now that you see things for what it is, why it happened, why it triggered you. Now you can work on healing that and growing through it. But others of you, there is a need for you to see the spiritual lesson. 
Okay, I don't know if you're avoiding seeing the spiritual lesson. And when I say not with your two eyes, with your one eye, you need to see the spiritual lesson, especially if you also have Aries and Scorpio placements. Again, there is a crystal clear message about a lesson that you need to hurry up and learn. Okay. It's like, you know how when he, when that guy was in that show and he was like, get in the car, Elizabeth. Your spirit guides are telling you, get in the car, Aries, get in the car. <laughs> okay, it's, it's time to roll out. Because this lesson needs to be wrapped up because you need to get in the car. Okay, with that said, let's see. Yeah, because you, you questioning why I got to get in the car. Because you got to get in the car and go. What you mean? Why? Get your in the car and ride out. You got to, okay? Ain't no need. That's like something popping off and everybody's running, but Aries want to look back and be like, even though I nine times out of ten, I would never see an Aries doing this. But whatever energy you're in right now, Aries, you are the one. Everybody's running and you're turning around to look back to see what's going on. You're gonna get bust upside the head, Aries. That ain't even in your in your nature, okay? Because usually you're at the front of the pack that led everybody away from the danger as the leader. So there is something that is holding you down that you need to get yourself out of and pick, pick yourself back up with gaining this confidence here. Okay, you just, all your cards wanted to fall out. Let's see. All right, so there is a need for you to focus on your mental stability at this time, Aries, okay? Mental health is important. It may be a decision that you have to make. For some of you, you could be in the mental health field and you may have to make a decision based on like your patients. So, so maybe you work with people in jails. You could be a psychiatrist of some sort, a therapist, to innocent people in jail and like you help them make decisions on getting out of cycles so this may not even be you this may be you helping people okay helping people with their mental stability to make decisions on how to get out of never-ending cycles for some of you guys there's a never-ending cycle that you need to make a decision on when it comes to your marriage if this is you in this mental cycle in prison okay it could be because of finances in some way, shape, or form, you may want to have that in check and have some type of cushion before you walk away. You will be lucky once you learn this spiritual lesson, but it's going to be very emotional. And you're going to cry a river, but that river is going to take you to a path of happiness, okay? Like, the luck is there. Once you learn this lesson, like... Whatever you are worried about, Aries, there's no need to worry about it because somebody could have been playing games with you and it's going to backfire. Somebody could have been thinking things a game and not taking you seriously and that's going to backfire. Um, Because once you make up your mind, and I really feel like once you make up your mind, you're going to be committed to getting to that bag you're going to be committed to just you and your stability and secure like it's it's like if i gotta choose <laughs> between you and my bag i'm choosing my bag like and you choosing your bag and being committed to that your business whatever it is that you're working on school whatever it is you're working on aries because you you're sticking with that you're going to luck up and that was your spiritual lesson to stick up for yourself and choose you for once okay you could be a retired people pleaser or that's your lesson is to become a retired people pleaser you get what i'm saying because that's going to lead you to the road of happiness like i really see you accomplishing something aries and you being so proud of yourself, like you're going to cry tears of joy. Like this is tears of joy after learning a spiritual lesson. Don't worry about anything. You got it and your spirit team got you, but you got to get in the car. Get in the car. Skirt!